Menteri Rangba Kajala U Konrad K. Sangma Ula Shimbenta Ha Kajinyalang Kabalakot Penlong Da U Menteri Katanat Ki Kampo Yeng Kasorkar Kami U Amit Shah Ha Nongba New Delhi U Menteri Habaya Keren Berkilat Pathai Kubor Ula Ong Baha Kani Kajinyalang Lakot Ya Baro Ki Seng Sain Perthai Ha Po Kari Na Kabenta Banya Keren Ya Kajingjia Ha Manipur Kabala Ne Da Ki Benai Menta Ukonrat ulakin tu ya ke sorkar India bayalam da ke BJP bakan pensi kena baka syongsuk syongsan kan wan biang hapo ke jela Manipur. A meeting was called uh, today by the Honorable Home Minister uh, Shri Amit Shah ji uh, for all the political parties to come and uh, discuss about the prevailing situation in uh, Manipur. Uh, in the meeting all the political parties, including the National People's Party, has expressed concern over the situation that's prevailing uh, in Manipur right now. And uh, we have urged the government of India that uh, all necessary steps which need to be taken to ensure that uh, peace returns back to the state of Manipur must be taken. We have also urged the government of India to ensure that uh, the, the, uh, uh, all the relief materials that are there which are needed for the people uh, and all the other commodities, essential commodities which are required, uh, we must make sure that uh, the supply of these materials is uh, done in a sufficient manner and in a smooth manner to all the locations and uh, more importantly to the relief camps uh, that are there. Uh, this was also stressed uh, by the National People's Party in the meeting today. Uh, we also stressed on the fact that uh, we need the peace to come in and hence there has to be a healing touch. There must be an approach where uh, from government side, whether state or center and from all political parties, we must reach out to every section of society uh, in order to appeal so that we can uh, uh, bring them together and uh, bring about peace in the state of Manipur and hence we should reach out to as many of the different groups and organizations as possible and also involve uh, different religious groups uh, and also take steps. A lot of religious groups have been affected, a lot of religious buildings and uh, uh, different uh, religious uh, institutions have been affected and hence uh, they should also be uh, included and we should reach out to them also to ensure that there is peace. Uh, we should also uh, ensure that um, all different kind of uh, groups, uh, armed groups, uh, which are uh, involved uh, in any kind of violence, that strict action should be taken from the government of, uh, of India's side to ensure that uh, none of them uh, can uh, go ahead with any kind of other violent activities and to ensure that uh, uh, they are brought under control. Uh, so all different kind of uh, armed groups which are creating a different kind of situation there, they must be brought under control and government of India must take necessary steps to, to do that. At the same time, it is very important for uh, the confidence building of the people of Manipur and hence um, steps should be taken by the government of India uh, including uh, the visit of uh, Honourable Prime Minister along with the Honourable Home Minister and if possible other political leaders also to the state of Manipur to bring the confidence to the people uh, and also to appeal to the people that we must uh, look towards peace uh, and ensure that uh, the uh, state of Manipur is uh, again back to normalcy and uh, we shared a commitment to ensure that we will all work together and uh, work in whatever way possible uh, to play our role and our part to bring in uh, peace in the state of Manipur, um, especially keeping the overall national interest in mind.